Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I am here over on my Dino Day review series and this is Valguero and we are on to a tame that a lot of people just completely forget about, the Moss Chops. And it's very unfortunate because there are some really good things the Moss Chops can do. Let me show you. First and foremost, yes, these are a little bit higher. I'm going to get a little bit of boosted rates off this, but it's not necessarily astronomical. In comparison to what you can get, you can easily hit a 1,000 melee on these things if you have a max level one. And that's unbred, so keep that in mind. Um, these are basically a perfect tame, so you could probably get some good imprint and stuff like that and get some decent stats. It's up to you. You can level stats pretty well on these things. Uh, you can get their weight pretty high up there. But that's up to you. You don't have to. You'll see what I mean in a second, though. Alright, so, what can you really do with these things? Uh, a couple of things that are interesting about them that people don't realize, they automatically gather wood and berries if you leave them on wander or leave them near a tree. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If I leave them in the middle of these bushes right here, Mr. Moss Chops will automatically gather the bushes. Now, he doesn't even eat the berries, so he'll just sit there and gather them automatically, and that's pretty cool. This is one time, so you will see the real numbers. And, if, if I just, you know, hop off and let him do his job, he'll continue to do that. If I leave him near a tree, <clears throat> he'll continue to automatically gather that as well, and every time it spawns in, he'll get more and more. So, he does automatically gather things, he or she, whichever one, which one is this? So, she is the one I was on. Um, but, that's not even the strong point. Just like the theory, this has additional harvesting levels. <clears throat> and this is something people totally forget about. Sorry for that cough right there. But he's got a whole bunch of cool little things here. Sap, raw prime meat, raw fish meat, rare flowers, mushrooms, leech blood, and organic poly. Now, I'm going to go and level this one while I talk to you. But when you're doing things like poly... People forget this because they think it just doesn't matter because they, they bite while they're on its back. This special ability does not work while you are on its back. You have to be commanding this thing to do what it's supposed to do. And then if it, if it does bite it automatically with your attack my target command, uh, then it will actually do what you tell it and get super quantities of things. I know that sounds really confusing, but it'll make sense in a second here. Because we're going to do this. So we did that one with that right there, and then we'll do this guy with sap, because there's a hilarious thing that you can do with uh, <clears throat> sap. And with the said sap, you'll be able to gather so much that you never need it again. <clears throat> now, basically what we're doing with this is you get a increased percentage um, every bite that he does this while you're not on his back. And I'll show you what that means in just a second. I just need to obviously finish leveling this thing, which is probably the biggest pain in the butt in all honesty. Um, but to each their own. So, uh, but it's worth it. I'll, I'll explain that. So, mm, 10 years later, there we go. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn this guy onto ignore whistles, and he's on passive, so we're good. Um, I'm going to gamma up because it's getting dark. And with this one, we're going to go ahead and ride him nice and close, and I'll show you what it looks like. So basically, you have to kill something. Whistle attack my target, if I can actually get him to do that. Let's see if I can... This target? No, he's not going to do it for me. No, please. Please, 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 please. Please, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. We'll try. <clears throat> there we go, I got a Carcanos. <clears throat> so, watch. <clears throat> he just auto-gathered that thing. Maybe Mantis says he doesn't want to do it because it's a little harder to get it. But look at this on one times. Yes, you are seeing this correctly. This is this is a, on one times. And he did just gather uh, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four hundred polymer with one bite. With one bite, this guy just gathered 400 polymer. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to gather these guys, but you can still gather it while he's on their back. Um, and again, don't forget this is on one time, so he's gathering a ton of polymer. And uh, this guy, look at that. I'm just going to go ahead and you know remove that for the time being. 
<clears throat> and just, you know, don't even matter that he got that much chitin. But he did just get that much. So we're going to go ahead and spawn in another crab. Uh, which one's the crab? This one? Yeah, that's, that's the crab. So, um, the negative thing is if you are under attack, the moss chops will run no matter what, as long as you are not on his shoulders. Uh, that's kind of just how he works. But all you have to do, you have to have a crab, a moss chops, whistle attack my target. He'll go ahead and gather it again. And if you let him do that, let's see what he got. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he just got us, or she, yeah, this one's a she. Nine times 60, the uh, math in my head, what's that, 480? Yeah, give or take. So one crab is 480 on one times polymer. So, yeah, you're going to want to get one of these things. As long as you know the trick behind it, because a lot of people think that you just have to attack from their back. You have to whistle command them, and if you do that, they get the increased levels. Now, what do you do with these guys? So, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn this guy on ignore group whistles. And then passive. And we're going to turn this guy on to group whistles. And if these guys... Come on. Follow me. Okay. If you can put these guys near with their sap boost on one of these trees... Um, you can actually whistle attack the target if you can figure out how to sometimes it's difficult Attack my target. No, he doesn't want to do that. We'll take it at this target. No, nope, doesn't want to do that uh, Of course, but they gather insane sap from these things if you can actually get them to do it Now when I say they gather insane sap, they, they really do you just have to hope that they'll get it done for you um, Targeting these trees can be a big pain in the butt. It's just that's how it works sometimes uh, but they gather increased sap with all these extra levels in sap, but unfortunately it doesn't work when you're on its back So keep that in mind um, But they will gather it. So there's a couple of things they will gather for you They'll gather insane amounts of thatch um, Which is pretty awesome. You can gather thatch pretty much like there's no tomorrow uh, You can set them to gather other things as well because they do have a different type of harvesting system if that makes sense so if you want to gather a bunch of leech blood, go through the swamp and just have them attack things. Um, rare mushrooms, flowers. Uh, prime meat can be gathered with these things from pretty much... Uh, we'll go ahead and just more demolish that bad boy over here, Bronto. Um, you can gather a ton of prime meat and mutton with these things. You just have to whistle them to attack your target, obviously, which can be the most difficult part. Eventually we'll get there, maybe. But... If you attack those little trees or get it too, you can get a ton of sap with this guy. Let's go ahead and kill this Bronto. No, no. I don't want HLNA. Why, why, why HLNA? So, we're going to go ahead. Whistle attack this target. He'll go in for the kill. And one chop it all. And he gets a pretty good amount. And th this is an unleveled one in prime meat. And he just got nine prime meat. And then a bunch of raw meat, so not too bad, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and see. Sometimes you get lucky, and they'll actually attack smaller creatures and get prime meat from them. Let's see. Nope, not this time. But they are pretty good at gathering prime meat. Now, I know early game, that's hard to get. So these are awesome early game tames. But late game, not so much, because... They really don't gather that much more than like a Giganotosaurus or a Rex. So, But early game, when you don't have access to those higher level tames, it can be quite nice to actually get that stuff. Um, they deal out a ton of damage, as you saw right there. They can gather quite a bit. They're pretty useful overall. Um, that ability to gather berries, fiber. I mean, fiber is pretty nice on these things. It's like, I want to say it's like three, about you know, half as efficient as like a theory or something like that. But it's pretty good still. So take that for what you will. Um, but they have a ton of raw damage, so they can be quite useful. Um, just like you see here, they're pretty good. Uh, nothing super special about them. Uh, they're kind of squishy because they don't have a saddle, so it's not like I'd, I'd suggest taming one of these for their ability long game. But early game, they can gather you a lot of resources like you're seeing right now. Unfortunately, the best thing they can do is gather crab meat. Where is my crab? Uh, let's just go ahead and do crab. No, man. Survive. Come on. 
Okay, let them get down. There we go. So now the one negative thing is if you do not level it into that stuff like you see right there, he will only gather a little, little bit. So you really want to focus. Notice the difference is 30 versus 500. So big, 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 big difference. Um, so each of those levels really does count. Uh, so take that for what you will. And if you leave this guy on wander and gather, <clears throat> that is a great way to actually go about it. Wow, I've got <clears throat> a little bit of a cough going, sorry. Um, but let's go ahead and see if I might have one chance here if we leave him on wander near this. And behavior, let's just go ahead and enable wandering. See if he'll actually gather that tree. Darn, no. Well, if you can get him to gather these, you can get like two, three hundred of that sap. So, as long as you're not on it, these things will gather a ton of stuff for you. So, anyways, hopefully this video helps you out, and hopefully you start using these things, because the moss drops are really overpowered. Alright, teach with the moss drops review series, out.